Sarah. Hi, Paula. What's going on, everybody? I am shot, okay? Excuse me, sir. Very tired, been undecorating since yesterday. I'm almost done though with the inside. I just have to take the tree down and then figure out where I'm putting things again. But the outside will have to wait till it warms up just a bit. I forgot to put do not disturb on Ah. Again. Why are you literally Again. the most forgetful human? I, you know what? I'm going to call you Dory. You know what? Or I, 10 second Tom. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom. <laughs> That's me. Hi, I'm Dee. <laughs> I can't. I have CRS. <laughs> hey, Katie, what's up? <laughs> Hi, Sue. Hey, Corey. Happy New Year. Hi, Jen. Happy New Year. Frenchy Mom. Hi, Mama J. Whoa. Happy New Year. I just saw someone walk by the window. That's why I looked over there. Hi, Rebecca. Randy. Yes, I did. I love them. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Oh, that was awesome how you did that with Banks. You have to tell me how you did that. That's really cool. Oh, you got your package, Liz? Hang on. Let me see. What did you say? Okay. Happy New Year. Yep. New Year. Hi, Paulette. It's snowing in Maine. It's raining here. Hello, Melissa. Hi, Lori. That was Melissa, right? No, it wasn't. It was a curious cat. I don't know what I'm reading. What's up, Tony? Hi, Sharon. Yo. Binksy. Yo. I'm going to need that time. B Binks is on the table already, like before I even started um, recording, so... Muggy and windy in Florida. I will take that any day. Corey said, congratulations. Oh, thank I didn't you. know if you were I, logged well, I was on gonna, I was going to do a, a, a large thank you for... Oh, okay. Hi, Binksy. Hi, buddy. What's up? Being dramatic. He is dramatic. You do need that cord, though. Hi, Deanna. Oh, here. Binksy, what are you doing? Little Binksy. Hey, Maria. 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 So, um, Bubbies, what are you doing here, huh? Happy You're getting your first you. snowfall? She said, yuck. <laughs> yeah, cat for sale. Oh, I would have to do like a million dollar offer up on him. That's my buddy. Have you ever seen such a beautiful Hi, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what a psycho. <laughs> you should see the scratches on my back from him climbing up and sitting like this. Hi, Brooke. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> He's eating my hair. Like, really? He is a love. Hi, Katie. Happy New Year. <laughs> Stop eating my hair. <laughs> That's a good picture. You should be taking a picture. Dude, I, how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> he, he's like a bird. <laughs> What a cat. Oh, hell no. He is too funny. The dog ran up to the TV and barked at the cat. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. So today's sale is all smalls, guys. Uh, a bunch of 
a little bit of everything. And I have five offer up items. Those are on the bigger side, but everything else is smalls. And it's like, you know, it's time to clean house. I got something in my eye. Probably dust. No, it feels like a piece of mascara or something. Uh, time to clean house, get rid of things, make room for new stuff. He sound, It sounds like a herd when he runs around. It sounds just like a herd, especially if you're in the basement. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. So if anybody... Um, Hi, Teresa. Hello, Ida. I saw you at Maria's sale. Hey, L. Page. Uh, Cindy. I'm I'm working on it. I'm still working on it. I, it's getting there. I'm almost done. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I, I'm, I, I'm. You guys are not really gonna believe I'm saying this, but I'm Christmased out. Christmas out. Yesterday was the first. I said, you know what? It's time to go. Yep. -er. Hi, Belinda. Belinda. <laughs> so, yes, it is all smalls today. I have some Avon items. I know a lot of people poo-poo Avon um, items, but there are some pretty cool ones out there. And I'm thinning out my, my Avon decanter collection. So um, I have some Avon. I have some uh, salt and pepper shakers. I have some figurines. I have flower frogs. Um, yeah, it's like a mishmash of items. Hello, Joanne Baber. Isn't it normally a mishmash of items? Well, yeah, I guess so. That's that's true. That's true. <laughs> and don't forget thumbs up when you guys are coming in. The thumbs up really, really do help. Here, I'll, let me show you guys my top shelf. Got all my trivets up there. All right. All right, so I guess we'll just get started. Um, I absolutely love these. They're boxers. These dog figurines. I know they're boxers. Oh. If I had a boxer, I would definitely keep these because these are gorgeous. Look at these. Look at these gorgeous figurines. Let me show you one at a time. There's great detailing on these. Then we have this little guy. He seems to be like he's being playful. Hey, Sam. It's thrift you time. Oh, it's Sam. She's here on behalf of Sarah. <laughs> So if anybody out there has a boxer, these would be for you. Yes, or just likes them. These are gorgeous. There's not a chip or a crack anywhere. And it is $12 for the pair. And they are number 30. $12, number 30. Oh, that's Connie. Hello, Connie. Thank you. Happy New Year. Hi, Davida. Happy New Year, hon. All right. Next, I have an... Oh, it's my girl, Marianne. I'm still getting used to the name change, but I got it. Hello, Lily. Ah, uh, thank you, Cindy. 
them. All right. I have this really cool pair of salt and pepper shakers. These are very uh, 50s looking, but they're not. <laughs> they are newer. They're not vintage. But uh, salt and pepper shakers, jukeboxes. They're in excellent condition. No cracks. No chips. These are $10, number 36. $10, number 36. Elizabeth Gove. Gove. Elizabeth Gove. Oh, wait a minute. I lied. It does have a little something, something right there. I don't know. It feels like it's rough. So maybe it is a little teeny chipper right there. So if you change your mind on that, Liz, just let me know. Oh, no matter? Okay. I just noticed it. All right. Okay, now I know this next item has a small chip. Where that? Oh, it's on this thing. Okay. This is um, a beautiful hand-painted creamer and sugar set. Uh, this is Nippon, and as you can see, that's where the little chip is. Um, but the sugar bowl is in perfect condition. There's the stamp on the bottom. Oh, I have a subscriber from the Philippines. Hello. I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name. Flor Rojas Vilarva. Is that close? <laughs> Excellent condition. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Listen, people put thumbs down on my daughter's wedding video. I'm like, really? Do you have nothing else to do? I just ignore it. Um, I can try and touch this up a little bit with some gold paint. Um, but anywho... It is the set, and they are $10, number 38. $10, number 38. Hey, Sue. Tippy Winks Vintage, Christy, right? Oh, yes. Hi, Christy. Did I say hi to you when you came in? I think, yes, I did, because I asked you about the cat. All righty. Um... I have uh, this really cute little lady. Uh, hi, Irene. Um, she is from Occupied Japan. And is just this cute little figurine. She's carrying a little basket of flowers. She's got little flowers on her dress. Well, on the front of her dress. This is just paint loss here. And she's about, I would say, yeah, she's about four inches tall. Um, here is her Occupied Japan stamp on the bottom. So she is $8, and she's number 44. $8, number 44. Elizabeth, you got her. She is cute. Very, very cute. Okay, uh, let me do an Avon piece. As, um, I know I have strawberry lovers out there. I know you love figurines. I have a lot. <laughs> um, I have this uh, Avon. It was a, I think it was a foam bath um, that came in here that smelled like strawberries. It has the, um, the lid. I still smell a faint, a faint uh, scent of strawberries in there, but it's in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips, and this is going to be eight dollars, number thirty-seven. Eight dollars, number thirty-seven. Elizabeth. 
Elizabeth. Oh, okay. You got it, Elizabeth. Okay, I just saw somebody. Oh, hey, Beth. Happy New Year. Hi, Andrea. Oh, thank you for doing that, Melanie. Um, 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 um. Hey, Virginia. You're 35% better. Well, that's better than no percent. Hi, Margaret. I see you, Jane. Um, if they have never bought from me, I would appreciate it if they would um, definitely email me all of their Same information. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Thrift You is highlighted with a blue wrench. She just put in the email address. Thank you, Sam. Something in my eye. I think I got it. Alrighty. Um, let me do. I know I Elizabeth loves kitties, so I have this set of three kitty figurines. First, there's there's these two. <laughs> they are adorable. And these are WIW Japan. There's the sticker. Hi, Melissa. Uh, married life is going exactly the same as engaged life. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking, Mo. And then I'm throwing in this one as well. It's just this plain old little kitty playing with a ball. I'm assuming she's Japan, but the sticker is um, gone. And she does have a little chip on her ear there. But you get the set of three, and they are $9, and they are number 47. $9, number 47 for the set of three kitties. Um, Elizabeth. I knew Elizabeth was um, going to get Banks those. Banks is playing with a toy, and I was doing the annoying... Sucking out of the straw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I purchased this next item at an estate sale. And of course, because I don't see well, or either I don't see well, or I'm not paying attention. I think it's that one. <laughs> not paying attention. <laughs> I got this really cute little blown glass. It's clearly missing a bird. It's Yeah, I just noticed that today. <laughs> it's clearly missing a bird right here, but That's did I notice that? the first time I ever saw it, and I knew it was missing. Yeah, well, you know, I have no excuses, okay? I'm not even going to try to give an excuse for not noticing that there's clearly a bird missing. Yes, he flew away, exactly. Uh, but this is still really cute. And it's only $4, and it is number three. Is that like the crystal ones that Grandma Karen used to yeah. collect? Yeah, $4, <laughs> number three. <laughs> Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth. You have the one owl flew the coop figurine. <laughs> All righty. Um, how about, let me see. I have a couple of really cool tins. Um, first, I have this really cool um, tin. Basically, it is, um, I don't, this is a reproduction, I believe. It's made by Hunky Dory Designs. <laughs> and it is for Bisto. Uh, it thickens colors and seasons uh, gravies and all meat dishes. It's just a really cool little tin, and it's about, let me see, it's two Teeny. inches square. Teeny tiny. Two inches square. And this is $6, number 11. $6, number 11. 
Elizabeth. You got it, my girl. All right. There's a sticker on the bottom from the estate sale. I'll get that off later. But anywho, all right. So that is Elizabeth. Next, I have this really cool tobacco tin. Wacky tobacco. No, that's devil's lettuce. What? Wacky tobacco. Devil's lettuce. Okay, is this Edgeworth? I love the color, and it's it's definitely, you know, worn. This is the inside. That one actually looks old. Yeah, it this is. One this one is old. This one doesn't look old. No, this one is the, the real deal. It actually still has remnants of the stick, the uh, stamps on the back. The tobacco stamp? Yep. So this one is $8, and this one's number 31. $8, number 31. Oh, Katie, know. I knew you were going to go for that one, Katie. <laughs> I knew it, girl. Had your name written all over it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Hi, Myrna, how you doing? Um, yes, I can, Melissa. Uh, next to Katie's that won the tin just now, mm -hmm. in parentheses, parentheses, put down Bill Melissa Amiot. Gotcha. Kind of spelled <laughs> that wrong, but. That's okay. Hey, Nabby, what's going on, girl? Have you been at the Goodwill other than like on Tuesday? I only been going on Tuesdays because I, I haven't gone in. Uh, I can't tell you how long. I get in too I much in there, trouble. It sucks. I get in too much trouble if I go when I don't get some kind of a deal. You know what I mean? As, if if I don't find items that have a sale tag, then I'm in trouble. So, all right. Next up is this really cool. Uh, colonial. Victorian or colonial vase. I love this color green. It's like gray green. Yeah. Um, Albuquerque. Um, Albuquerque. Woohoo! Hey, Maria. Oh, I can't think of that country song that says Albuquerque. In it. So this is in perfect condition. There are no cracks, no chips. Uh, I wouldn't say it's no, sea it's foam not seafoam green. green. It, this has more gray to it. Actually, there's a a guy that lives around the corner from my mom. He has siding on his house that's like this color, and they call it vintage sage. What is the name of the color? But anyhow, that got into a long story. This is eight dollars, and it's number fifteen. $8, number 15. Aw, oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you got them. It's all about the smalls today. Next up is this. Can I have an egg? Yes. I believe this is um, porcelain. It is this uh, little egg holder. No, it's an egg, egg, uh, egg, egg cup, egg cup, <clears throat> and it ha this is like a factory default there. I don't know, default, defect. <laughs> um, I don't think that comes off, but um, it has some gold around the rim. Um, I don't feel any cracks or chips anywhere. There's no markings on the bottom. Hey, Joy from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Oh, yeah, there's, there's nice. Two, two New Mexicoers in here. New Mexicans. New Mexicanians. <laughs> yeah. 
This is six dollars and it's number twenty one. <coughs> six dollars, number twenty one. Did you just say, Beth, what I thought you said? Oh, the story was funny. Elizabeth. Because I'll tell you why. One day, me, my mom, and dad were sitting out in the backyard, and we were, uh, our, their backyard faces the houses on the next block, obviously, and we were looking at his house, and my father was saying it was gray, and I'm like, Dad, it's not gray. Yes, it is. It's gray. So guess what? I called him up, and I left him a message. I said, we're having an argument about what color your house is. I say it's a green color, and my father says it's gray. Call me back and let me know what the color of your house is. Well, guess what? I won. Vintage sage. <laughs> but it, you said it's grayish green, so it's kind No, but of he didn't say gray green. He just said flat out it's gray. No, it is not gray. <laughs> so that's how I know. Because <laughs> I wanted to do my house that color if I ever get it sighted. So, anyways, I have a set of pig pigs. <laughs> Jessica said creepy pigs, but the one looks like it's got a black eye. Well, that's because some of the paint wore off. These are little pigs playing the flute. It's got to be like... Looks Asian. like they are from pig. Japan. I was going to say, they got to yep. be Asian pigs. They have the cork bottoms. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper devil pigs. <laughs> yeah, they're creepy. They looking. are not. Yes, they are, dude. They're $6, number 23. $6, number 23. I think they're cute. They have a little bit of paint loss, but so what? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you got them, girl. All right. Uh, I'm going to do a piece of jewelry, guys. I have this beautiful, it is a Sarah Coventry brooch. Looks like a shield. I know my camera does not focus good. I don't know why. Um, but you can, on the back, it does say Coventry in the, the center piece right there. It's really, really pretty. I love it. Uh, this is $14 and it's number 34. $14, number 34. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. She done bought my brooch. All right. Who's Sarah Coventry? She, she made jewelry. She was a, de a designer of jewelry back in the 60s. Wait, oh, Elizabeth mean? always gets big boxes. <laughs> Okay, I have a gorgeous um, jewelry set here. Uh, it is the earrings and a bracelet. However, they are clip-on earrings, but I'm told that you can take off the back and put on uh, posts to make them into uh, regular pierced earrings. But I'm not going to do that. If whoever buys them, if someone buys them and they want to do that, Thanks. Go for it. Hey, Chris. So how do you wear them? Like this? Uh-oh, Binks is back. Yeah. Hey, Jackie, what's up? Okay, buddy, you got to get down. Come on. Oh, thank you, Jackie, for the oh. um, come on the vintage recipe book and the little rattly uh, wooden rattle. So, this is the bracelet. This is the clasp right here. It is just really gorgeous. 
The colors are beautiful. I don't really know what um, what these stones are made out of, but they're beautiful. And then these are the earrings. Love these colors. Because I mentioned it. Don't, don't get me started. So anyways, the set is going to be $12, number 33. $12, number 33. Myrna. Myrna, you got it. Okay, next up I have a pair of uh, carrot salt and pepper shakers. These would be cute at Easter time or springtime. No cracks, no chips. They're in excellent shape. They are about three and a half inches tall. And these are $10 and they're number 20. $10, number 20. Yes. Elizabeth. <clears throat> okay, you got it, Elizabeth. You. All right. Next, I have this beautiful uh, trinket box. It is luster wear. Very, very pretty. It's that pretty like uh, purpley blue color on the top and then on the bottom, it's like a gray blue. And it is made, uh, it just says made in Japan. Beautiful. Um, I think it's transfer, but I'm not positive because, yeah, it's probably transfer wear. I don't know. I'm not an expert, so, but that's my guess. Um, this is $10 and it's number four. $10, number four. Myrna. Okay, you got it, Myrna. All right. Okay, next I'm going to offer these um, Made in Japan. Uh, it's a rooster and a chicken, I believe, set. They're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just figurines. As I said, I'm dwindling down my rooster collection. So I am offering these right here. Uh, they have their Japan stickers on the bottom. No cracks, no chips. Oh my God, really? Uh, anyways, these are $10 and they are number 45. $10, number 45 for the roosters. Myrna, you got them, Myrna. Yeah, he's he's getting making me mad though because this is getting to be a habit where he has to have attention twenty four seven, and he's got to learn that he ain't getting it all the time. I got things to do. And he's just like in your face and he's like, you are going to love me right now. Like that. <laughs> Get down, I said. 
Ay, ay, ay. All right. Next up is this cute little owl figurine. He is uh, Bisque, and it, it's made by um, UCGC Taiwan. No cracks, no chips. This is $10, and it's number seven. $10, number seven. Elizabeth. Okay, you got it, Elizabeth. All right. I have a really cool, um, there's some sticker on here. I'm just trying to get it off. Um, an Onyx desk set. It is the pen holder and the stamp holder. Um, unfortunately, I do not have the pen that goes in here. But as you can see, this is for the roll of stamps. And it is Onyx. And there is the stamp there that's from the Onyx, um, Onyx, Onyx Imported, USA, something diamond, it says. But it's a really, really nice set. And it is $12. It's number 13. Hi, Erin. $12, number 13. Elizabeth. Okay, you got it, Elizabeth. Boy, you're on a buying spree today. Um, I think it's time to do an offer up. Uh, let me see. All right, let me grab these. Oh. Okay, so this offer up is going to be for one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, five. It's a six piece lot. First, you're going to be um, offering, if you like, it is this flower frog. I believe it is. Um, ceramic it's a it's a good size it is um four and a half inches around then we have this awesome cage um frog flower frog hi deborah I really have no idea what to use these for. I mean, as far as like in decor, I I really don't know. So I that's why I'm not going to keep these. So then we have a set of four of these flower frogs. So we have four different sizes. Looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> it is. And actually, um, I forgot. One of my friends on YouTube sent me a picture. Someone had a set of frogs like this stacked, and they put a star, a wooden star, in the top so that it looked like a Christmas tree. So there's an idea. <laughs> um, so it will be this whole lot of flower frogs is what you're going to be offering up. So, let me get my, uh, my timer. Oops, I always put the wrong password in there because I got a new 
iPad. Okay, so um, you're just going to put your offers in. You'll have one minute. Let me just put this down to one minute. All right. We will start the offers at $10. Ready? Okay, start. So it's going to be for all of these. I cannot hold them all. There we go. <laughs> Yep. I was hanging on to these and hanging on to them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm never going to real. I use, I have some already that I use, but I will never use all of these. So they're pretty cool though, especially the cage one. Oh, you use the cage one for hat pins. Oh, there's an idea. I mean, I suppose you could put pens and pencils in there too. That would be, you know. Uh, we got uh, 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. All right, we're going to refresh and see who get it. Who, who get it? Who got it? Sure, it's the first one to type the number, right? Yes. So it would be Myrna Spratt for $46. Myrna Spratt! Congratulations, Myrna! You got them! All right! All right, moving right along. Next, I have a very 70s, I would say, piece. It is this awesome Lucite napkin holder. I should just keep this because <laughs> that other one stinks. This is awesome. It has no, um, no issues that I see. There was a sticker on the bottom, um, but now I can't read who made it. But it is really, really a cool piece. You could fit a decent amount of napkins in there, for sure. So this is going to be $12, number 48. $12, number 48. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you got it. All right. Um, I, this is a beautiful piece. I really love this, but you know, I can't keep it all. Uh, it is this beautiful Fenton. There's Fenton right on the bottom. Carnival glass, daisy and button boot. Hi, Linda Dickerhoff. Isn't it pretty, Sam? It is really pretty. Um, it is a little over four inches tall. And it is about four and a quarter inches long. There's no cracks, no chips. It's in perfect condition. It is $10 and it's number 18. $10, number 18. Yes, it is booty time, Chicago lady. <laughs> Corey, the thrifted artist. Oh, Corey. Yay, you got it, Corey. It's a beautiful piece. All right, thank you, Corey. Um, okay, on the same lines, I 
Wish I had room for this. I love the color. If nobody wants it, maybe I'll put it in the bathroom. You know what? I could put it in the bathroom with the... the I'm the wrong person to be looking for an opinion on this. Well, no, with the blue, the fairy lamp that, that's this color. What's the theme in the bathroom? There is no theme. <laughs> Okay, anyways, so it is this boot. Now, it is, go the color is gorgeous, but it has a lot of issues. It is cracked. Did you sell this one before and nobody claimed it? No, I tried. Oh, it is cracked. You can see it better on the other side. Yeah, there's a crack there. And it, and, and then there's like a chip here. Um, and you can actually, you can see it sort of on the, the toe. I don't know if you guys can see it. See it right here going like that. And then it comes up this way. Damn, what they do, throw this up? I don't know what they did to it, but. It's just so pretty, and you're not even going to see it if it's sitting on a shelf. So I'm just offering this for $5, and it's number 39. It has the kitty, too, coming out of the um, the front of the boot. Melissa Amoyette. Melissa. Okay, you got her for 5 bucks. Thank you. <laughs> One less... <laughs> Let me tell you something, okay? When you try to go in the shower in our bathroom, our shower is really small. And so we have the shelves that are all right by the shower and you go to slide the shower curtain back and you hit this thing or you go to set something on the other thing and you hit something else. So I hope you enjoy your boot. <laughs> Alrighty. That's why we're doing a small sale today. <laughs> Next is this beautiful little bud vase. I love the top. Look at how pretty that is. It reminds me of like a little girl's dress or something, you know, when they swirl around. That's what I think of. It's just so pretty. Um, there is a sticker on the bottom, and it is um, NASCO. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but it's NASCO. No cracks, no chips. It's $6, and it is number six. $6, number six. I'm going to figure out what the name of that song is, because the ones that they've suggested, that's not that Oh, one. Jane Newhouse, I think, right? <laughs> You got it, Jane. What song are you talking about? I, I'll look it up. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Jane Newhouse. Jane okay. Newhouse. Back to some Avon decanters. Um, What did you have that set? Six dollars, number six. Okay, well, you had the number right, but I think you have the price of this and this switch because you have that as that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oops. All right. I know y'all have seen these pretty little swan no, perfume decanters. They have perfume in them still. I can pour the perfume out, you know, um, before I ship them so that they're not as heavy. But I have um, four of them. Actually, I have five, um, but one of them I just noticed the crown on it has uh, parts missing off of it, so we're just going to forget that one, but I do have five, no, four. This one is missing one little, um, one of these Wait, little- Wait, time out. The name of the song is... What uh, song is... Okay, it's a country song, and it's by Tim McGriddle, a.k.a. Tim McGraw. 
and it's called Everywhere, but there's a part in it where he says, Albuquerque, waiting out a blizzard, Arizona, oh. dancing across the desert. So it's that song. I figured it out. Oh, okay. I'm glad you figured that out. Yeah, well, everyone was chiming in about it, so oh. I had to figure it out. Okay. Okay, so, anywho, I have four of these little swans. They are $3 each. So, the first person to put in the number has their choice of either buying all of them for $3 each or one, and then we go to the next person and the next person. So, these little swans are $3, number eight. $3, number eight. Okay, Paula. Okay, Paula, do you want all four or do you just want one? Do you want two? One. Okay, you want one. Okay, so who was next? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, do you want one? Do you want two or do you want three? Okay, so Paula, mark one down for Paula. Elizabeth says she wants three. Okay. So Paula, you got the one, and Elizabeth, you got the other three. Elizabeth, do you want me to throw this one in or no, wait a minute, since you got, Elizabeth, do you want me to throw this one in that has the broken, the little broken um, thingies on the top for free? Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, next I have. Oh, I wish Kim Oh My Vintage was here. Um, I, hi, Angela. I have this cute little uh, gold shoe. I think it's that Weeping Gold, and it's usually like 22 carat. But it's just a little um, decoration, I guess. Or maybe you could stick a really small um, air plant in there. <laughs> oh, hi, Happy and Harned. Um, no cracks, no chips. It is two, about two and three quarter inches long. Closer. By about two inches tall. One and three quarter to two inches tall. It's four dollars and it's number one. Four dollars, number one. Elizabeth said that... Christy had asked if she could have the broken one. Oh, I didn't know that. And so Elizabeth said um, that you can give her that one. Okay. All right. So this one is this. And then Christy. Okay. Christy bears it. Um, that was... Auntie K. Okay, Auntie K, you won the gold shoe. Okay, we got it all under control, ladies. Okay. You, I think you've developed butter fingers or something. Probably. <laughs> it's more than butter fingers. Because you broke something earlier. Oh, my God, you guys. I was trying to um, put stuff back, you know, from after Christmas. And I have certain roosters that I was keeping. Didn't I break one today because I dropped something on it? Always. So I had to glue it, you know. But whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Next up, I just showed this in uh, my last haul video. It is this adorable measuring cup set. I just love this. Look at all the little ladybugs and the flowers. Perfect for springtime. You could put it out on your counter. Um, so it has oh, wow, your... These are heavy. I yes, they are. Them to be heavy. I know. They're very heavy. <laughs> uh, you have your quarter cup. You have your uh, 
third, one third, is that one third? Yeah, one third cup. They're in this adorable gingham pattern, and there's a ladybug and a flower in the bottom of all of them. Gingham. This one is your three quarters cup, and then the basket is one cup. This is so cute. I love this set. Um, this does have a little uh, tiny, it's more like the paint chipped off than an actual chip in uh, the ceramic. So you get the set for $10 and they are number 19. $10, number 19. <laughs> they are cute. It's very cute. Oh, Lynn Hampton. Hey, Binksy. All right, you got it, Lynn. Excuse me, son. Lynn Hampton. Pretty hey, sure, but you can double check for me. Um, and just so anybody that's new, I am shipping from New York State, just so you know. Um, let me see here. I have, um, I have this beautiful um, creamer that goes to the Avon Cape Cod set. It is so pretty. It really is beautiful. A deep, deep red color. Uh, no cracks, no chips. Hi, Tammy from Vintage Tidbits. Tidbits. So this is um, $8, number 40. $8, number 40. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like thing too. Yeah, that's the only one. No. Yeah, that one, the one that we gave uh, Christy. Christy. Is the one that's missing a bunch of Right, them. and then one missed one, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so what's that? Oh, you have the entire set, Kathy? It's gorgeous. I just sold um, my last sale. I sold the, um, the decanter and three of the um, little cordial glasses uh, in my last sale. Beautiful. Um, I don't know who got that, so Jessica's going to check. <laughs> it just went too quick. <laughs> okay. Who is it? It was, what, number 40? Uh, yeah. Carmen Zermino. Carmen! You got it, Carmen. You went back and watched my... Oh, did you? See, yes. Isn't it gorgeous, Sue? I mean, I I have to tell you, at first I was like, ah, walking off through the falls, blah, blah. I thoroughly enjoyed myself doing that whole walk around. I really, really enjoyed myself, I have to say. Hello, Alex. What is up, girl? Okay. So, keeping with the beautiful ruby red, I have this single glass. Um, this would be gorgeous with a tea light candle in here. Jess, is there a tea light candle sitting on top of the thing there? Let me, yeah, let me see if it'll work though. It's so pretty. Oh, let's get the full effect. There we go. Look how pretty that is. So, um, like I said, it's that beautiful ruby red color. This is a true vintage um, piece. It's pr I'm not sure who made it. It could be Anchor Hawking. They're known for their ruby red. But this is going to be $6, and it's number 41. $6, number 41. Linda Dickerhoff. Oh, Linda. You got it, Linda. All right. Oh, 
All right. Next, this is really a uh, cute. Happiness candle? Yes. You want it? <laughs> this is called a happiness candle. First of all, the jar is adorable. It's got a little blue bird of happiness on the top. And there is a candle inside that's never been burned. It smells like vanilla to me. Is that vanilla? Yeah. Yeah. Vanilla scent. Still has the tag. Um, it's made by, it's from 2007. Demdaco. <laughs> Demdaco. This is 10 bucks and it's number 26. 10 bucks, number 26. Linda. Okay, you got it, Linda. Is that Ron, Cashew Ron in the house? All right. Okay, next up is this beautiful little trinket box. Soups and such. Yep, there he is. Oh, did they, Cindy? Oh, okay. Hmm. I never heard of them. See you later, Sue. Thanks for coming. Uh, I believe these are little forget-me-not flowers. And it is a heart-shaped box with gold around the bottom. And inside, it is signed because it is hand painted. No cracks, no chips. This is going to be $8, number 43. $8, number 43. Oh, Lily's mom. Okay, you got it. Joanne. All right. Let me see here. Number 43. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So now my next item is something that you could probably kill somebody with. It is this humongous Paperweight slash flower frog. Flower frog. <laughs> this is a very thick, large glass flower frog. There are, um, I do not believe there's any cracks or chips anywhere. It does have like some scratches. There's some scratches like on the, the top in certain spots. But I don't see, I don't know if those are cracks. See what I'm talking about, guys? Can you see those? But anyways, I mean, this is, you could knock the snot out of somebody with this thing. This could be a lethal weapon. Y'all carry this in your purse. Ten bucks, number two. Ten dollars, number two. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty huge. <laughs> Elizabeth. All right, you got it, Elizabeth. It probably weighs about, like, a pound. <laughs> or more. Um, let me see. Okay. I have a piece of uh, Capo de Monte. Now, you know how hard it is to find these with all of the flower petals and leaves intact. Well, this was all intact until, until. I got a hold of it. <laughs> and I did manage to break one flower petal right here. Yes, I did. But it is a beautiful candle holder. All of the other flowers are intact. Did you drop something on this too? I don't remember. 
I do not remember, but <laughs> it is still a beautiful piece. Here is the sticker on the bottom. You do the same thing too? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a, I don't know. I, I feel think, like you weren't like that before. Well, you know what it is? It's because I'm rushing around and I'm not paying attention to my surroundings as I'm rushing and then that's what happens. But this is still a beautiful piece. It is $8 and it's number 50. $8, number 50. Who's sick, Christy? Happy and harmed. Happy and harned? Is, is it harned or Har harned? Harned. It's the town where she lives. Oh. Harned. Uh, Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth, you got it. Hey, Nita, how you feeling, my friend? She's struggling bad with the COVID, poor Nita. Um, okay, offer up time. All right, let me just do this and get this out of the way. I'm just trying to move pieces over here, guys. Karen Pangborn. Did you already sell the boxer? I did. Uh, that was my first item, Karen. I'm sorry. All right. My next offer up is for this very cool 1908 Sears catalog. It says a treasured replica. Right. It is a reproduction of a 1908 Sears catalog. Oh, I thought it was. And it is thick. It has some awesome... Uh, pictures in here and items. This is really cool. I can't tell. I mean, to me, some of this stuff seems cheap, but then I also feel like it seems expensive for the time period. Look at that. Very cool. It's a replica of 1908. Yes. 1908. It's a replica of a 1908 Sears Roebuck catalog. Uh, this actually... Look at... Iron Baby Cribs. How much were those? Five dollars and ninety-five cents. Yes, is that crazy or what? Okay, that, that doesn't seem too bad then. That is some, crazy. But some of the items seem like expensive for back then too. So this was printed. It, it was published by Digest Books. Should be right there. Dang it! It has Roman numerals. M C M. L X X I M C M L X X I. So for those of you 1971, okay. So this was published in 1971, and this is my next offer up item. We will start the offers. At $10, as soon as we uh, type start in the chat. Are you ready, Jessica? Mm -hmm. All right, $10, start. This is a really cool book. Oh, look at the, the sewing, sewing machine, machine. Jess. $9.85. $9.85. My grandmother had a sewing machine just like that. Hey, buddy. What it was mean? exactly like that, almost. 
Almost exactly. What do you want, dude? Sometimes, sir. What do you want, Beansy? Oh, look at that. Look at that what one. What do you want, Beansy? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Beansy. Coming up on 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. We are refreshing. Uh, I got Auntie K for $26. Auntie K, 26 doll hairs. Auntie K, did you ever send me your info? Because I don't think you've ever bought from me before. I know I've seen you in everybody's sales, but um, please make sure to email me your info. Come here, sir. I would appreciate it. I know, Banks. He's a oh. trip. He's like. Get your freaking hair on my shoulder. You should see my shoulder. Oh my God. Dude. Uh, you have? Okay. Okay. All right. Um. So next, I have. Um. I bought these at a yard sale, and these are like pretty, pretty old. Ye olden. They are ye olden. And they, they're they probably both made in Italy. Yeah. One of them says made in Italy on the bottom and the other does not. But, but they're, they're like the same, same style. They're the same style and the same material. It is these two yeah, figurines. Her boobies is out. Her boobies are out. They are out and wanting to play. Ew. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> Hi, F. Getting ready to bounce. <laughs> um. <laughs> anyways, um. Yeah, they're pretty cool looking, actually. Um. This is the one that says "Made in Italy" on the bottom. Let me see if I can get it the right way. It's very hard to see, but it is there. <laughs> you just spit out your drink. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> Jen, you should know by now to take a sip in between items. <laughs> so these are going to be $8 and they are number 29. Eight dollars, <laughs> number twenty-nine. <laughs> Terry Nichols. Uh, nope, Linda Dickerhoff, because Terry Nichols put the number wrong first. So it's Linda Dickerhoff. I'm sorry, Terry. We have to go by the, the correct number. I know. I'm sorry. I try to play by the rules. Alrighty. Um, I have another Avon item here. This is really a cool bottle. Um, it doesn't have the cologne in it anymore, but uh, uh, I'm sorry. It used to have... Um, skin so soft bath oil in it and it is this lady she's pretty tall she is about 11 inches tall and here is the bottom it's really neat so she is going to be $10 and she is number 42. Hey, Soul Nate. $10, number 42. Myrna. Okay, you got it, Myrna. Okay, I need to stop reaching. <laughs> um, let me do one more Avon piece. This is a really cool one. Um, I, 
This was obviously for a man. It had Wild Country Cologne in it. I love Wild Country Cologne. I think it still smells. I think it smells so good. But it is this Kingpin perfume or cologne decanter. And as I said, it used to have Wild Country men's cologne in it. It is about six and a quarter inches tall. Um, there's the label on the bottom. No cracks, no chips. Six dollars, number 24. Six dollars, number 24. There's always something going on with YouTube, Elizabeth. Got the um, the bowl and pin. You got it, Elizabeth. It's really cool. Oh, here, I'll put this over here. Okay. Uh, let me see. All right. I have this set of, I think these were probably made in, like, India or... Um, somewhere thereabouts but they are these really cool brass and wood salt and pepper shakers i think they are so cool it reminds me of like um like the taj mahal you know how all those buildings over like in saudi arabia are shaped like this that's what they remind me of, but they're very pretty. And they're, they're small. They're only like, oh, about two and a quarter inches tall. But they're, yes, Aladdin lamps, that's it. They're $6, number 16. $6, number 16. Myrna, you got it, Myrna. All right. Okay. So I have a poor, lonely, little um, lusterware teapot here. You don't see them very often in black and white. But I think this is really a stunning piece. There's no chips, no cracks. Um, it does have, is that a sticker? Yeah, that's part of a sticker. Um, the inside is nice and clean. It does have some discoloration on the inside. And here's the lid. Oh, I just saw a little chip. There's a little chip right there on the lid. Any more? No. Everything else is good. Um, this was made in Czechoslovakia. There's a stamp on the bottom, but it's really hard to make out. But it's a really pretty piece, and it has a little bit of paint loss right here. This is $10, number 28. $10, number 28. It's really cool. Elizabeth. All right, you got it, Elizabeth. All right, um... I have a lot of Avon pieces here, guys, so I'm going to try to get these out of the way. Okay, this is for the whole set. It's a set of three. So this one had um, Field Flowers Cologne in it, and it is this little deer. Doe, excuse me. It is a doe. 
Then I have, this one used to have honeysuckle cologne in it, and it is this little cat. Hold on, my phone keeps buffering. Why don't you go out and go back in? And then this is, um, this is just like a, um, I guess it's supposed to be kind of like a bell. Pretty frosted blue glass. This one had, yeah, it's called Joyous Bell. This one had Charisma Cologne in it. Can still smell it. So you get the set of three for $10, number five. All three of them for $10, number five. Uh, Carmen, Carmen Zermino. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know you were back in. You got it, Carmen. Yeah, I um, I have a huge collection of Avon perfume, like decanters and bottles, but I'm trying to downsize my collection because it was getting like out of control. So that's why I'm selling them to whoever would like them. Okay, next I have this really pretty set. It's like milk glass. Um, these used to have um, powder, moon wind, powder sachet. That's what it says. Um, there's the little shaker top. I don't smell it anymore, though. But... Did you you get the other one? No, I didn't smell the other one. Let me see. No. Nope. Oh, she won't smell it. I don't uh -oh. know. I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know when that's from, so no thank you. But anywho, <laughs> um, these, these are really pretty. They're like, um, they look quilted. These are $8, and they are number 46. $8, number 46. The white lad with the bell dress. Jane. You're looking for a certain piece, the white, a white lady with the bell dress. It was Jane Newhouse. Okay, Jane Newhouse, you got these. I'm wondering if I have her. Hold on. Oh God, my knee. Oh. Oh my goodness, I can't even, oh wait a minute. She has a bonnet on, Paula said. She has a bonnet on? Yeah. No, I don't have her. No. No, I don't have that one. I have, I have this one where she's got the, the muff. That's the one I have. Bill you and send, bill you and send to Trisha Sandy. What am I sending her, um, Jane? Because you bought more than one. What am I sending to Trisha? Virginia wants to know if she's for sale. Oh, I can sell her. But let me, let me, oh, and then I have this one. The Bride. Oh, I could smell the cologne in that one. <laughs> oh, the milk glass salt and peppers. Okay. So build Jane and send them to um, just put um, Sandy and Otto. Okay. All right. So I don't have the one that you're looking for, but. Okay. Um, is anybody, anybody's interested in these ladies? I can offer these as well. Who, who wanted this one? Uh, Virginia asked. 
You want this one, Virginia? Okay, so... Oh, well, Myrna said yes, that she's interested. So we'll just do one at a time. I right, guess. okay, so I will offer this one. This one had Charisma Foaming Bath Oil in it. Okay. She is uh, $8.00. And she is number 57. $8, number 57. Myrna. Well, that. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Well. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're welcome, Jane. All right, next is the beautiful um, bride. The oh. a Southern Belle. I'll have to keep my eyes out. I feel like we always see Avon yeah, stuff. Yeah, I see Avon stuff all the time, so I will definitely uh, keep my eyes open. But this one's really cool. This one is a bride, and she had... It's called Bridal Moments, and she had Sweet Honesty Cologne. And uh, she's going to be $10, and she's going to be number 100. $10, number 100. Whoops. <laughs> Teresa Bryant. Teresa Bryant. You got it. All right, uh, let's do an offer up. Should be virgin cologne, LOL. <laughs> okay. So, my next offer up item is an absolutely, I mean, breath taking piece, I think. Look at this gorgeous piece, you guys. Tell me this is not a breathtaking. That gorgeous. This is the lid. Yes, it is hand painted, I think, but I'm not sure. And this is an RS Germany piece. So I don't know. I don't know if it's hand painted. I think it it's possibly. I don't know. I really am not an expert. R S Germany. So. There's no cracks, no chips, um, <clears throat> a little bit of paint loss uh, here and there, like on the gold. Not a lot, though. It's very, very teeny tiny. Yeah, I don't know. It's very hard to tell. See, this is the other side. It's just gorgeous. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I love the, the, the way they shaded the colors. Please hold back for the size. <laughs> it is It's nine inches long. And it is 
five and a quarter inches tall. All right. So we are going to start the offers. I had my thing all set up here and then I... I looked up the song. Oh, no, okay. Um, hi, Lynette. Um, yeah, I'm getting down towards the end. I still have... Um, a small handful of a things. A small handful of things, and I do have three more offer-ups. We are going to start the offers for this at $15. Is everybody ready? All right, let's start. What a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I forgot I had this. It was stuffed way in the back on a top shelf. I found it yesterday, or the day before yesterday. I was like, oh my God, how could I forget that piece? Well, you did. I did. It is just beautiful. Out of sight, out of mind. You know how that goes. It is. Don't you think that's beautiful? I think it's beautiful, but I wouldn't say breath. Taking. Oh. taking to me is like something like really pretty in nature, like a waterfall or something. <laughs> Ten seconds, guys. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> something a little more majestic. <laughs> All right. Stop. All right. We are going to refresh. <clears throat> Um, I got, um, it looks like Elizabeth, $42. Elizabeth, congratulations. You got a beautiful, beautiful piece. Alrighty. Anybody want this cute little pig planter? Um. He looks creepy, too. He's not creepy. Why do they He's give him red eyes? I think that's what it is. Why would they give him I red eyes? I have no idea. That's why they look creepy. But he does have paint loss because, you know, it's cold painted, so. But he is a little cutie patootie. <laughs> he is adorable. Look at those ears. How cute. He is, um. Short and stout. Four and a quarter inches long, and he is three and a half inches tall. Well, wait a minute. Let me measure this one. Yeah, three and a half inches tall. Up to the up ears. to the ears. I, he looks so happy to be a pig. <laughs> okay. Well, does he have any markings on him? Uh, no, no. There's no markings. I don't know. I thought somebody said he might be Shawnee, but I'm not positive. Anyways, he is $10, number 17. $10, number 17. Cynthia Amitrano. <laughs> ah, hey, Cynthia. Happy New Year, my friend. Um... Oh, you found more of those things? No, those were the ones, remember you picked out a couple and you left me the rest that came in those dishes from oh. that estate sale? I forgot I had them. They were sitting on the well, shelf. Here, hold on. You can add it to that. And oh, all right. Well, I'm going to do this first. <laughs> okay. Um, this is going to be for people out there that love to bake. What's going on, Jeffrey? I know, I know you had the COVID, but I mean, are you getting better? Not yet. Ah, oh, Jeffrey. I have Oh, 
Are those stamps? Yes. You can you make designs. You press them into the tops of cookies. Look at. Hmm. They're cute. Well, you know you'll be in my prayers, Jeffrey. Um. So next up, I have the set of um cookie presses. Okay, um, so our Blanca, what you need to do, first you have to make sure that you are in live chat, not top chat. And what you would, should do is close out and then come back in and make sure that you're on live chat because you are lagging. That's why you are seeing the numbers typed in before I say them. Okay, next I have a set of these um, Rye Craft uh, cookie presses. These are, they look to be brand new and it comes with um, the paperwork for both. They're from 1992. One is this pattern. They kind of look like aztec -y for some reason. Yeah, they're kind of cool. Hearts and like a flower design. Because it's got like the turquoise and the terracotta. And then this one is an ice cream cone, which I really like that one. So you get the set of two. And they are $10, number 27. $10, number 27. Cool summer. Okay, you got them, Blue Flamingo. Lori, Lori. All right. I don't know how I ended up with a staple, but I did. All right. Uh, I have a couple more Avon pieces. I will definitely make sure that these are all cleaned off and everything before um, I send them off to you because they were in my bathroom and I use hairspray. Ten so, pounds of it. So they get like the, you know, Film. the fallout of the hairspray. But this one is, I know Paula is going to love this because it's blue. It is this little birdhouse clock and... It says Avon on the bottom, and it obviously had some kind of cologne in here. I can smell it, but I don't know what kind it was. But it doesn't have any cracks, no chips, really a pretty piece. And this one is going to be $10, number 49. $10, number 49. Auntie K. Auntie K. You got it. All right. I have another one that is also um, a clock, but this one is white. And it still has cologne in it. So if y'all would like me to empty out the cologne... Before I ship it, I definitely will. I don't think I don't think this one had any cologne in it, the blue one, but I know this one definitely does. But it's really pretty. I love the detailing on it. How come you don't smell the ones that have cologne in it? I do. Oh. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll de uh, whoever gets this, let me know if you want me to leave the cologne in it. <laughs> this one's $10, number 22. $10, number 22. Paula, do you want me to dump out the perfume? Okay, I'll dump it out. 
Um, Jeffrey, please email me and let me know what is going on. Oh, uh, his whole family, they have it. All right. Oh, how cute. Feel better soon, sir. I know. Mm. That one has a thimble on it still. So. Yeah, I've seen it. But that one I think is for a thimble too, but there's no thimble in it. All right, so next I have a bag of miniatures. A little, a bag of miniatures, yes. Miniatures. Mini whatever, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> miniatures. Um, so we have the cutest little bunnies that ever These lived. cute little bunnies. These little cuties. Little cuties, blue and white. Oh my! I know, Paul. I just pulled those off my shelf. So yeah. So there's these two. Well, wait. There's like a cute little like floral pattern. I showed him that. Oh. Yeah. And he's got a little blue cotton tail. Then we have this little duck. Quack quack quack, Mr. Ducksworth. We have a rooster or a chicken. <laughs> we have another little duck. Hello, birdie. It's not a duck. A little birdie, not a duck. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It's in the bird family. This is actually a Wade figurine. It is a the circus poodle. What is a Wade figurine? Those are the figurines that came in the Red oh. Rose tea bags. Oh. Then we have two thimble animals. This one actually has the thimble in it. We have an owl, and he's he's a Nesco. And then we have a, a no, that's not a squirrel. It doesn't have a squirrel tail. Uh, I think it's a chipmunk. Chipmunks have tails too, dude. Yeah, but his tail, see the tail? I think it's a squirrel. No, it's not a squirrel. Anyways. Let me know if you think it's a squirrel. Is it a squirrel or a chipmunk? I think it's Look a at the tail. That's fine. It, I it's, think it's got like, a little teeny weeny skinny tail. It's a squirrel. Beaver. Oh, she, beaver. Okay, Beavers. chipmunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Groundhog. Mm. <laughs> chipmunk, chipmunk. All right. Anyways, <laughs> you get all of these miniatures, all of these little miniatures for ten dollars, number twenty five. Ten dollars, number twenty five. Carmen. All right, Carmen, you got them. Whoa. All right, it's time for an offer up. Oh, really? Yes, because I have three offer ups left, so we need to do one. I think this is cool. I don't know if anybody is into the farmhouse thing, but. She was for two seconds. This was, <laughs> this is very, very old. It is an egg candler. Can you tell me what that means? So what this is, is... Oh, you just sold something. What'd you sell? Oh, Pampered Chef. Just sold something on my eBay. Pa oh, wait, wait. Okay. You're going to have to explain that to me because his aunt must sell... Is that like a company that like people sell? This is, is they would put the eggs. There's a light in here. Mm-hmm. And it has something to do with it. It tells you about the inside of the egg with, uh, by looking at it with the light or whatever. Somebody help me out. An egg candler. Explain it to my daughter I'll what just, it is. I can Google it. But anyways, I have this and it works. I will show you. As long as the light bulb is still working. Check if it is fertilized. Oh, okay. So there you go. It's still working. 
Oh, ew, that's so weird. Yes, because, uh, yeah, it's just oh, really, gonna, really cool. I mean, I hope none of these eggs Well, yeah, but how am I going to do that? What do you mean? Put it on the thing. No, do it the other way. What way? It. Yes, this way. Oh, look it. Is that, did I do it right? That's what it looked like from the picture. How cool is that? Oh, she used a flashlight. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That's what it looked like from the picture anyways. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, see, look. Okay. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Well, anywho, I used this. I didn't use it to see if the egg was fertilized. I just used it for decoration uh, when I had farmhouse decor. So we're going to do an offer up on this pretty cool item. Uh, we're going to start offers at $10. So, let me get my clock here. All right. Is everybody ready? Start. We're starting the offers at $10. She's, she's losing her mind over there. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Look, I just I just learned to use some knowledge. <laughs> well, they told me what it was. Just, There's 30 seconds left, guys. Dependable egg candler. candler. Yes. And you would you would just um hook it, you know, screw it onto the, the wall of the barn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jiffy Way products. Albuquerque. Pretty Way cool. Okay, coming up down to five seconds, guys. Four, three, two, one. Stop. Very cool piece. Very cool piece. I got this at an estate sale. Um, I got Teresa Bryant. Teresa Bryant? For 30 doll hairs. For 30 dollars. Congratulations, Teresa. Woohoo! Um, where's this at, Keisha? Oh, that was the um, extra one. I wrote it in. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. I have a cute little figurine here. Um, this is Saturday's Child. She has all that lovely spaghetti detailing on her dress. And she has little angel wings. I do not believe she is missing any of her little flower petals. Or any of her spaghetti detailing. She is, um, I, at first I thought it was Lefton. It is not. But it is not. It is Lamor China. Hand painted. Do you have Sunday's Child also? Christy Garza says. No, I do not. I only have Saturdays. So sorry. But this is the only one I have. She is $8, and she's number nine. $8, number nine. Hey, Jay, what's going on? Rebecca Higgins. Rebecca Higgins. You got it, Rebecca. All righty. Uh, next, I have an acorn. No, it's not. A pine cone? No. An artichoke? <laughs> no. I have this vintage, uh, what do they call them? Pom pomander? It is made in Japan. What the 
I don't know if you guys can see that sticker. It's made in Japan. It has a velvet ribbon. A pomander ball. Yes, a pomander ball. Uh, it is bisque material. It is an artichoke. That does not look like an artichoke. It looks more like a pointy pineapple. <laughs> Anyways. This is going to be $8, and it's number 35. Oh, my God. Teresa has chickens. $8, number 35. Teresa, you have chickens? Myrna Spratt. Myrna Spratt. I want chickens. Jessica wants to get chickens when she gets... Um... Uh, nope, I can't have them there. Oh, you can't have them there? Oh, that stinks. They said you have to have five acres. To have chickens? Yeah. Oh, well, that stinks. I mean, I can understand like an acre, but like five acres? For That's a lot of land acres. to have a, a stinking chicken. Uh -huh. I would only want a couple. Teresa said, I'm country as cornbread. Oh, nice. <laughs> Wait, do you like sweet cornbread or do you like not sweet oh, cornbread? Oh, Happy and Harnet has six hens and a rooster. A, Chickens are good pets, I hear. I don't know. They're so cute. Five acres of land to have a chicken where, where we live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, let me do... Well, that's because it's... Anybody have goats? I wish I had goats. I like those too. I like all farm animals. We kind of have a pig. Hi, yeah. Pamela. Junker maker. Guineas. Oh, guinea hens, maybe? She prefers skillet cornbread, not sweet. Um, I got to have sugar in my cornbread. I have to. All right. Next, I have this real pretty milk glass bottle. Carmen this... Zermino said I'm, I'm vegan, so I like happy chickens. <laughs> I like happy chickens too. <laughs> um, it has this really pretty scene on it. Kind of like a Victorian scene. What the heck would you put in there? I don't know. You could put anything in it, I guess. It was made in England, I think. Ingram. No, Belgium. Made in Belgium. And this is $8, and it's number 10. $8, number 10. Jane Newhouse. Jane Newhouse. You got it, Jane. All right. Um, right. I'm going to do one more regular item and offer up. Then two more regular items and my last my blah, 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 my last offer up. So I have 327 people and only 173 thumbs ups. You had some chickens eggs for breakfast. Fresh eggs are the best. Well, I bet they are. Nothing like fresh anything. Garden, you know, stuff from the garden. Yeah, fresh chicken eggs, you don't have to put them in the fridge if you don't rinse them off. There's a film on the shell. Okay, I'm I'm billing Jane for this, and it's going to Angela Marksberry. Okay, I got you, Jane. All right. Marks B. That's what I wrote. Marks B. <laughs> okay. I have another very cool Avon decanter. Still has the perfume in it. I do not know what is in here, but it is this Uncle Sam. Looks like a pipe. <laughs> I wonder if you could, uh... nah, never mind. <laughs> okay, so I'll see event. you later, Maria. What'd she say? Anyone want to pay for one of my items, LOL? <laughs> <laughs>
yeah it's pretty cool it really is and like i said it still has a cologne in here uh whoever wins it just let me know if you would like me to dump it out yeah he's pretty cool no chips or anything he is eight dollars number 32 eight dollars number 32 for uncle sam Cheryl, 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 when did you get here? <laughs> Cheryl Haskins, okay. Cheryl, do you want me to dump out the lovely cologne that's in there, or would you like to keep it? <laughs> dump it. Dump it, okay, gotcha. Alrighty, I only have two regular items left, so, well, because then I'm going to have two offer-ups. Well, okay, I'll just do them. I mean, they're right there. All right. Um, one more Avon item. I Somebody sold one of these in their sale. Was it Jackie? I think it was Jackie, Crafty Jackie. It is this little uh, hobnail bell. Still has the cologne in there. Sweet Honesty Cologne. Uh, this is going to be $6, number 14. $6, number 14. Oh, this Avon was in your bathroom? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there, oh, no, there's more. Trust me. I have shelves in my bathroom. Yeah. We got shelves everywhere. And yeah. there's stuff everywhere. Who who got the bell? Paula's Projects. Paula, you got the bell. Okay, so. I wasn't being over dramatic when I was saying earlier about trying to get into the shower and hitting shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so my last regular item. I actually bought this at Pamela Blanchard's one of her sales a long time ago. And I just, uh, I don't want it anymore, so I'm gonna sell it. It is this little... Um, trunk up elephant. Yes, trunk up elephant. He's made in Japan. But he's not perfect. He's got little, like, paint, you know, in spots Cheers. where it shouldn't be, you know, but that's the way they did it back then, you know. Um, he's cute, though. Pam said I remember him. You remember him, Pam? <laughs> so he is going to be $8, number 12. $8, number 12. Uh, no, Elizabeth, I don't think so. I mean, I, I know. I, Isn't it cute, Jay? I have certain things that, like, I collect, but I have substantially, like, got rid of things, and I like more minimal looking. I don't like things to look cluttered, because it actually right. gives me anxiety. Who got uh, the elephant? Lynette Curtis. Lynette Curtis, you got the elephant. Jay, I was watching one of your videos this morning when you were in, um, oh my gosh, I forgot what store it was. And you were cracking me up. You were talking about you, why, you don't know why you had the camera over there or something. I don't know. It was pretty funny, though. I was rolling. It was a good story, Ma. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's a half story. What can I say? Oh, you just got more shelves, Myrna? All right, yes, got to fill them up, huh? <laughs> okay. So my last two items are offer-up items. Uh, we have this adorable teddy bear bank, which is from the Regal, Regal Toy... And it's actually Canada. Oh, Canada, we stand <laughs> on guard. There is the bottom, and it does have its plug. And he is in excellent condition. 
He is. Fabulous. He is. 10 inches tall. Yeah. Is he plastic? He's plastic. Yes, he is. He is plastic. Hello. There's his little uh, coin slot in the back of his head. He is adorable. It's like a blow mold, isn't it? That's kind of yeah. It's kind of like there. a blow mold, basically, without you know. But you know what? You could, you could put a light up inside of here and use it as a night light too. There's an idea for you. Oh shit, DIY. I know. So, we will start offers on this cute little bear at ten dollars. So everybody, get ready. We're starting at $10. Ready? Start. A light up his butt, yes. Gives new meaning to, uh, what is that? Endoscopy? <laughs> Arthroscopy? <laughs> what? <laughs> he is, yeah, it's, he's cute. There, there's a close-up of his little face. He's got rosy cheeks and everything. Oh. Colonoscopy. With with a light, yep. He's got a hole under his armpit. I don't know why. That looks like it was like, it's like a perfect hole though. Yeah, yeah. it was made that way. I don't know why, but. Probably a little let air Three, get in. Three, two, one, stop. All right. Let me see. Let's refresh. What do we have? So cute. Um, it appears that we have uh, Linda Dickerhoff for 16 doll hairs. Linda Dickerhoff. You are the winner of this adorable teddy bear bank. Linda? He is so cute. He really is. I almost was going to keep him. For what? To put um, change in, to save change for whenever you have kids. For my grandkids, you know? All right. That looks like an egg. My final... Item. It's absolutely glorious. <laughs> what, what did you say earlier? Breathtaking? Yes. I'm like, no, this is no, not breathtaking. Not breathtaking. <laughs> the ocean is breathtaking. <laughs> right. Uh, no, this is really pretty, though. Um, it is this really pretty carnival glass fruit bowl. Pretty amber color with all of the rainbow effects. It's gorgeous. It's four pounds. Yes, it weighs four pounds. But it is so pretty. I love it. Look at the pattern. So we're going to start the offers for this pretty fruit bowl at $10. I actually should keep this. Oh my God, no, you shouldn't. What are you going to keep it for? Well, for my new kitchen. Your new kitchen. What's, what, 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 <laughs> what are you going to put in it? You have the, I sold the blue one, Sharon. So, okay, so... We will start the bidding at $10. Let me get in here on my timer. I'm so curious as to what you were going to do. I was going to put the, the fruit in it that I got at that estate sale. This one. You sold the fruit. No, I didn't. In a basket, I thought. Not that fruit. Never buy Cashews. There you go, Gina. <laughs> That's a lot of cashews in there, boy. All right. Are we ready? Let's. Start. Ten dollars. <throat> That's big. 
And again, it weighs four pounds. So. Yes, it weighs four pounds. It is 12 inches long by eight and a half inches wide. The cashews has to do with 30 seconds left. Crafty Jackie's husband. Yes. Cashews and cheese. Oh yes. No, not the not the glass fruit. I got a bunch of rubber fruit at an estate sale. It have, was grapes and banana and a pineapple and yeah. Yeah, the one that came in that basket. Oh yeah, that. Well, I thought you were she talking about no. the basket I got from Grandma. Oh no. Four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, I heard you. Wing, 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 wing. I got, uh, well, it's going to be Myrna Spratt. Myrna! For 20 doll hairs. For $20. You got it, Myrna. It's yours. It is a beautiful piece. You're going to really love it. Uh... I guess that's it. That is my sale for today, everyone. Nice and quick and simple. Yes. Nice, quick and simple. Little items that take a lot of room. So, um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> Myrna, you're going to have a good box today, too. <laughs> I have to still, um, I'm still taking down my Christmas stuff. Well, I only have my tree left. So I'm going to go finish that. Oh, thank you, Vintage Conversation. She said, I know. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. All right, guys. Oh, no, I, I, um, the past few weeks, we've had a, a lot of things going on. So with getting ready for the wedding and such. So I really haven't even had the thought process to try and find stuff, but. Probably uh, next week now that everything's kind of done. Yeah, things are, are finally calmed down. So, um, yeah. So, I'll probably see all of you later on at uh, Pamela's sale. At baby sale. At baby sale. At 8 o'clock, Pamela Blanchard has her sale. And is there anybody else that has any sales um, today? No, Vinny. No, Vinny's been kind of MIA. I haven't really seen Vinny. Has anybody seen Vinny? You don't think so, Katie? I didn't think so either. Do I need to type in the email address or do we all have Oh, that? Sandy um, Sandy Otto has a sale at 10 o'clock tonight. I hope I could stay awake. Oh, you got your stuff, Debbie? Oh, good. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, okay, Nate. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see y'all later. Have a great rest of your weekend. TTFN, y'all. Bye, guys. <laughs>